Hello, I'm Yasser Janab, interventional cardiologist from Tehran Heart Center, presenting the case mycotic aneurysm in peripheral arteries and vascular management. Our patient was a 20-year-old woman with history of mitral valve replacement due to endocarditis of about uh, four months ago. She had also septic emboli with total occlusion of following arteries, which uh, treated medically. Left internal artery, left proximal superficial femoral artery and left distal popliteal artery. You can see the occlusion of internal iliac artery at the left side. You can also see the occlusion of left superficial femoral artery uh, at the beginning of this artery. And you can also view the occluded left popliteal artery at the distal portion of this artery and occlusion of proximal portion of tibioporonal artery in the left side so we have occlusion in different three arteries after about 45 days of surgery CT angiography of the patient showed formation of mycotic arteries in these arteries you can see that the occlusion of internal iliac artery has changed to mycotic aneurysm and occlusion uh, at the groin has changed to a, a large mycotic aneurysm about 5 uh, cm you can see the, the mycotic aneurysm gain that's the internal artery aneurysm and that's the, this is the large mycotic aneurysm at the groin of the patient uh, the mycotic aneurysm at the groin was treated sur by surgery and the patient and the patient uh, had a graft groin uh, and for the internal iliac artery she was transferred to our center because the surgeon uh, couldn't uh, repair uh, couldn't repair the aneurysm we decided to go endovascular by cover stent you can see the video that here the common iliac artery the aneurysm or the pseudo aneurysm or mycotic aneurysm at the beginning of internal iliac artery this internal iliac artery and external iliac artery and the patent graft at the groin our approach was bilateral brachial artery we were not sure about the neck that uh, can it be f fit a cover stent we planned the patient for a kissing essence from common iliac artery to both external iliac and uh, uh, internal iliac arteries but uh, at the angiography we realized that we can put a stent only at the internal iliac artery as you seen on the video uh, we put a balloon uh, to protect the common iliac artery and uh, we put a cover stent v12 balloon expandable cover stent 5 millimeter uh, uh, diameter and uh, 22 millimeter length of this stent cover stent uh, just at the osteal portion of the internal iliac artery we could and you can see after the inflation of the stent with good result without compromising the common iliac and internal iliac artery the result was really good and uh, I should say that septic embolic from the heart can occlude the vasorum of the vessel of or the vessel lumen leading to vascular wall infection and mycotic aneurysm formation most commonly seen in the uh, intracranial arteries uh, followed by visceral and upper or lower extremity arteries uh, management of these mycotic aneurysms include antibiotic surgery and in some cases endovascular uh, techniques thanks for watching